Pour me another drink. Give up, Jack. You can't win. Shut up and keep playing. Come on, Jack. Anyway, some bitch went up the alley. <laughs> Show me what you got, cocksucker. What are you saying? You know you ain't gonna win. Just give up. What do we got? This hand's mine. <clears throat> Any of you fellas looking for pussy today? Or are you just gonna sit around and scare away all my regulars? No need for hostilities, mister. We just looking to get shit-faced drunk. <laughs> now, pour me another drink. Let us go about our business. You best quit eyeballing me right now. Or you're gonna end up face down in a quagmire out front. <laughs> now don't be causing no trouble now. Best you get to wherever you're going before we find ourselves ill-acquainted, friend. I don't like the tone in your voice. And I ain't your fucking friend. We'll be on our way when we decide to be. You hear me, cocksucker? What I tell you about man is Jack. Every goddamn time we get to a new place, you gotta go and roll folks the wrong way. Just for once. Is it really such an inconceivable proposition that you not invite the propensity for hostile transgressions? I'm sorry, Ace. I just... Now I think it'd be best you apologize to Mr. Green. Chester Green, and it's quite all right, sir. Allow me to unravel the cage. Next round's on me, fellas. <laughs> now you see, Jack? That's how we address Mr. Green. And all fellow proprietors, gamblers, drunks, or any other cocksuckers we encounter from now on. You understand? Yes, sir. Get up. You fellas from around these parts? We go where the work is. What kind of work would that be, sir? What's your name, mister? Morning, Sheriff. Coffee for me, like a poetry, please, Mr. Green. Sure thing, Mr. Sanderson. What's the latest on the new bank they're building down the ways? Well, apparently some square head from Montana is putting up the coin. And he'll be here within a week. That's good. Here's to progress. Well now, Chester. Sure seems like the standards to which you usually uphold in regards to the quality of the patronage here sure has declined of late. Now, Nigel. Please dispense with all superfluous sensibilities towards this gentleman. Gentleman? I find it hard to see any gentleman here, Sheriff. Look more like a bunch of low-life rabble to me. The kind you and I almost invariably have trouble with sooner or later. Easy now. These men have done nothing wrong, and I don't believe their intentions to be misguided. You listen to your boss now, mister. And you best change your fucking tone the next time you address us. It won't be next time you keep spouting off like that, son. Easy, Nigel. Take the air. Got a busy day ahead. Y'all have a nice day. One moment, Sheriff.
If I may ask, who's the marshal around these parts? We ain't got one. Mr. Saint and I are the only law in this camp. Why do you ask? Well, I was just wondering how safe it was around here. And who it is gonna take care of me and mine while we're staying. If something unfortunate was to transpire here, who would come to our aid, sir? Surely it can't just be you two protecting all the black water from any inequitable contentions. That sure sounds like a troublemaker to me. Sound like a troublemaker to you, Gil? What'd I tell you? This son of a bitch ain't here for no picnic. I wouldn't do that if I was you. God damn, sons of bitches. Why are you asking me this? And who the fuck are you anyway? Listen up, everybody! There are new rules in this camp. Now, the priest of Dan is simple. We now in charge. Remember the name, Ace Dalton. Because who are you going to be answering to from now on? You want to stay alive. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph.
How's that apple pie coming along, Betty? I'm gonna check on it now, Miss Daphne. I was just running some water out to the cattle boys. <laughs> You're too good to them, you know that? Mm-hmm, but those good, hard-working boys, Miss Daphne, don't you forget that? I know it. Anyways, I can smell the apple pie oh. from over here. It smells so good, don't it? Mm-hmm. You know, we sure are lucky to have you, Betty. Mm-hmm, I Who's that over there? State your business. I do beg your pardon, miss. It was not my intention to alarm you. My name is Balthazar Delacroix. At your service. And this is my horse, Herman. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Delacroix. But I ask again, state your business. Of course, of course. I'm looking for a nearby camp around these parts by the name of Blackwater. I believe it to be somewhere in the vicinity. I have an acquaintance there that I wish to parlay with. Quite embarrassingly, I seem to have fallen off the trail somewhere along the line. Well, Mr. Delacroix, it appears you've taken a wrong turn. Blackwater is about three miles east of here. My, my. How absent-minded of me. I'd be much obliged to you if you could point me in the right direction. Well, mister, how about you come on inside and I'll draw you a map. Hell, Betty's cooking some of her famous apple pie that'll make your mustache twirl. You're more than welcome to come on in and have a cool drink and a bite to eat, if you like. The name is Daphne. Daphne Sanderson. Well, Miss Sanderson, if Betty's apple pie is indeed as good as you say it is, it'd be my absolute pleasure. Marvelous home you have here, Miss Sanderson. Thank you. It belongs to my family. My daddy built this place before I was born. It's been my family residence ever since. How wonderful. Is uh, Mr. Sanderson still residing here? I would be honored to meet him. Actually, he lives in Blackwater now, but he comes back home to visit regularly, of course. Well, if I ever get there, I'd love the pleasure of meeting the man myself. I expect you will. He's the sheriff. Fascinating. I trust y'all are happy with your apple pie? Betty, you have outdone yourself again. Absolutely delightful, mademoiselle. I've never tasted any better. Well, sir, you may have a second helping. So, Mr. Delacroix, may I ask what business you have in Blackwater? You mentioned something about a parlay with someone there? Indeed. I have an old friend by the name of Reverend Patrick Flanagan. I believe he's the camp's minister now. One would say that we're boon companions from many, many moons ago. I'd like to rejoin his acquaintance. Well, once we're done here, I'd be happy to ride with you, show you the way. Oh, Miss Sanderson, I couldn't possibly trouble you any further. It's no trouble at all. I was fixing on visiting Daddy today anyways. Betty? Could you be a doll and get Davy to ready the horses? We'll be riding out shortly. Yes, ma'am. So, what do you do for a living? Oh, Mrs. Sanderson, I couldn't possibly. Miss Daphne, I've just seen Herschel riding up the pass, and he's riding mighty fast. Betty, I'm sorry, Miss Sanderson. It's your pa. Betty, get my rifle.
O Lord, render unto them a recompense according to the work of their hands. What's the matter, preaching man? Never seen a gutless dog hang from a tree before? Now you show him some respect. He's a decent man. <laughs> He's a dead man, Price. Keep taking that toe with us. Enjoy him. Evil. You're demons. When you go back to hell where you come from, you're, you're savage monsters. Demons? I'll send you to hell. You will. This is the man of God, you stupid son of a bitch. Never strike a man of the cloth, or may your corpse burn for a thousand years. <coughs> you two assholes are supposed to be on lookout. Not wandering around here threatening the locals. Go on. Get to it. I said get to it! You get yours, preacher man! Apologies, minister. My man can get a little rambunctious at times. Well, it's up to me to remind them to refine their etiquette. Where I come from, a man who'd commit such a sin would be severely dealt with. Be careful. I may have saved you from a beating just now, old man, but don't think I would hesitate in carrying out said action. You keep testing me. Now the end come upon thee. I send my anger upon thee. I will judge thee according to thy ways. Don't be plotting no insurgent designs, or they will quickly get shut down. You just keep your head down, and do as we say. You won't be answering the call of St. Peter just yet. Now, I have a meeting with the sheriff, and I dare not keep him waiting. woman today. I gotta shave my beard. That shit's fun and all, but I ain't a complete asshole. Yeah? Well, nice watching the road, asshole! Fuck off. Yeah? At least I don't look stupid in that hat, cocksucker. I look as pretty as a pair of dog's ass in this. <laughs> shit. You heard what the boss said. That bitch can shoot a bluefly off a horse's ass at 500 yards. Come on. Hold it! Right there. Put your hands up real slow, lad. What the hell do you think you're doing? Don't you know I'm the sheriff's daughter? <laughs> yeah. That's good. Cause pretty soon you and him, little lady, gonna be having a catch up. Make it down off those horses, real slow like. Slow like molasses. Move it! You too, fancy man! Yeah. Maybe we could come up with a mutually beneficial arrangement. The only arrangement we're gonna make is whether we play with you now, or we give it to Ace and he ruins our fun. 
<laughs> yeah, I don't know, Leon. This one here, she kind of pretty. I like your bear queen. <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> Who are you? My name is Balthazar Delacroix. This is my companion, Miss Daphne Sanderson. Now, her father is the sheriff of Blackwater. We were on our way there just now when these uh, road agents stopped us. Is that true, miss? Are you the sheriff's daughter? Yes, sir. But could you kindly not take aim? I'm still in shock. My name's Benjamin Billings, and I'm a bounty hunter. I've been trying to track down a wanted man. Goes by the name of Ace Dalton. I believe these cocksuckers probably work for him. I agree, Mr. Billings. I have reason to believe the camp is in peril. One of the townsfolk informed me not more than an hour ago that my daddy was in trouble. Thank you, sir. You're a gentleman indeed. Seems we got ourselves a situation we can grape on. That camp is in trouble right now. And I expect you two will assist me on this endeavor. I intend to systematically alleviate Black Border. These cockroaches leave the leader to me. I need him alive. Excellent. Shall we, uh, travel together? Carefully. Never know how many of these assholes are waiting to get the jump on us up the road. We ought to proceed on foot from here on in. I'm acquainted with the priest. What better sanctuary than the house of the law? Can we trust him? Sir, he's a, a man of God. Known too many men of God to entirely trust that alone. I can vouch for Reverend Flanagan. He's been a family friend since I was a little girl. All right, miss. But we can't afford to be, uh, conspicuous. I know the camp well. I'm confident we can get him without being noticed. All right, then. Uh, Mr. Billings? Thank you. Goddamn hand. Just keep playing.
You really think you're going to beat me? Come on. We most know I'm going to win. Come on. Show me what you got, cocksucker. God damn it! Every fucking time! <laughs> Don't be a slow loser, Jack. How long we gotta stay in this shithole anyway? I'm sure once Ace gets back, you'll know where the gold is. And then we'll be living like kings. Y'all wanna keep your voices down? What? We don't need every pinhead in this town knowing what the fuck we're doing here. Y'all understand? Yeah. Yeah, I get it, Dutch. Hey, and don't drink so much. You need to keep your minds clear. The chances are... We could be riding out as soon as this evening. Say, Sheriff, it had to be done. The only reason you're still drawing breath is that I need you to tell me the whereabouts of that gold you buried in them hills north of here. See, I know all about that fortune you stashed away. So you might as well just tell me where it is. And I won't cut your goddamn throat. Uh-huh. So that's what it is. I suppose you think you've won because you successfully commandeered this camp without sustaining any casualties on your side. The problem is, Mr. Dalton, success without integrity is failure. And I can promise you this. Y'all fucking hang for what happened here today. someone else who can assist me in this matter. Someone like your friend, the priest. Or maybe that lovely daughter of yours, perhaps. You old drunk. I should have known I would have found you sequestered in some desolate corner of the Lord's house. Ah. And what are you doing here? You didn't see her come in, did you? I don't believe so. Excuse me, Reverend. The sheriff is my father. Could you tell me where he is? You? You're Daphne. 
My goodness. I haven't seen you since you were a small child. My father, please, Reverend. Where is he? I'm afraid they do have him. But I do believe he's alive. Who has him? And, and where? The men I've been tracking, Miss Anderson. They're here. This is Mr. Benjamin Billings. He's a servant of the court. He's here to claim the bounty on those assholes. And we need to help him do it. There's far too many of them. No, they'll, they'll, they'll murder us all. Not if I have anything to say about it. I agree. We need to take action. Is there another way out of here, Reverend? You best open this door right now. And I mean right now! I will knock it down and drag you out of there. You and I are gonna have a little powwow, priest. Somebody get mortician. Looks like I got him a few fresh customers. So happy you're okay, Daddy. Ah, take more than a pack of wild coyotes to keep me down, darling. If I'm not mistaken, it may not be time to breathe easy just yet. He's right. Dalton will return and no doubt accumulate an association of fresh gunmen. So what do you suppose we do about it exactly? I mean, we don't have enough guns to win this fight and the camp, well, uh, it's mainly just farmers and they're, they're not fighters. We fight, and it's not about winning, it's about doing what's right. Ooh, ain't you afraid of getting killed, Sheriff? Hmm. I wouldn't be in this job if I was afraid of that, Chester. Do we suppose Mr. Billings is going to come back? That I cannot say, but Daphne, you ought to be getting home. That's impossible, Daddy. I'm not going anywhere. I mean it, Def. They can't operate without you there. And it's too darn dangerous for you to stick around here. I'm staying right here. I'm not going to let anything happen to you ever again. Damn it, Daphne. I love you, girl, but you've got to do what I tell you. Now get on back to the ranch. Mr. Delacroix here will go with you. You'll make sure she's safe, won't you? You have my word, sir. Daddy, I am well and truly big enough now to look after myself. I don't need no babysitting. You are going home. Mr. Delacroix here is going with you. And now's a good time to go while there's still some daylight left and that fucking bounty hunter has him on the run. I love you, Daddy. I love you too, kiddo. 
And I promise I'll come and visit you tomorrow, right after we sort this mess out. Okay. Ah, sure. Oh, how can I help you in this darkest of evenings? Well, I'm sure they will return, Padre, and when they do, we need to be ready. And we need to take uh, some drastic measures to ensure the future safety of this camp. Now, what would you be proposing to do there now, sir? Well, that passageway under the floor from here to the saloon, is that still safe to use? What kind of feature? Why? You'd want to be going down there. Gotta be a dozen or more barrels of moonshine under that saloon, down in the cellar. Highly flammable. And I know you were a fighter in your day, Padre. I just hope you kept up with your training. Now, surely, you're not saying what I think you're saying. I'm saying it.
Sheriff Sanderson. Now, where were we? Well, that's right. You about to tell us where that fortune's buried. But first, I'd like to give you a gift. Looks like Mr. Billings won't be claiming that bounty after all. I'm willing to go into specifics if you're willing to come inside and talk. Dutch, take the air. I want you to keep an eye out. Don't want anyone sneaking up on us. I had faith in you, old man. I knew you'd come around eventually. So I tell you what you want to know, and you and your men leave Blackwater for good. No longer shall you harm, I'll be the harbinger of terror. As it is by my hands that you shall find peace, brother. God rest your wicked soul. I'll take another drink first. No need to expand yourself, Sheriff. Chester Green, bring over a bottle of whiskey and two glasses. It's all right. I'll get it. Got to be a dozen or more barrels of moonshine under there, so we down in the cellar. Highly flammable. God forgive us all. What the hell was that? Where you go? 
It's up to you now, girl. You gotta keep this place safe. And all the good folks here, I know you can do it. Here. Take this. It's the map to our goal. That's what they are after. It's yours now. All of it. I love you, kiddo. I love you, Daddy. And I love you too, kiddo.
It's time to have
I love you, Daddy. And I love you too, kiddo.